Oh, she sounded good. I'm dirtier working on this than if when I was working on the Cat D5. Really? Oh, look at me. Yeah. Wow. Brakes gone. Cable seized. Muffler gone. How much for a muffler? Six hundred dollars. Six hundred bucks for that piece of crap. Yeah. Just that look. piece of crap. Isn't that brutal? Yeah, it is. So we got a car muffler. Yep. Have a look, Sean. That looks much better. And I made enough that stretch. Good. Not too close. Yeah. So I made up adapters and I, I took the original bracket from up top and I cut it off here. Somewhere off here. Yeah. And I welded it onto the muffler and then I machined a couple of inserts and a little tailpipe. The tailpipe don't protrude farther than the the bar that way they can't hook into it when they're walking by that's and, true, that's good. and uh, so it's bolted from here to here and here and uh, adapter secure. made all oh, very nice and, and it's high uh, high temperature heat so I got a shotgun on the front it's running pretty good I, well, I guess seeing you got the camera I should start it and yeah, let them hear it's, it's very quiet the thing is going to be working in a park so I didn't want to use a resonator, I just wanted to put a muffler on it. And now don't worry about the back pressure guys, we've done this before. <laughs> so it's very nice and quiet. It's about the same noise, same sound as, as when we, uh, as when, if we put a brand new on. So that's yeah. done, and I'm waiting for some gear oil and stuff there now. And yeah, big job. Huh? It's come. Oh, it's a big job. A lot of fooling around. Well, it's it's a 1990 model. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So anyway, we have parts. Oh yes, you do. So. Roll blue. Yeah. Next week we're going to be. Here's what's coming up next week. Next week we're going to be putting the new steering wheel in old blue. That's the adapter kit in the small box. The big box is the trailer mirrors. They are very nice. I, I already checked them. The shipper or the, the manufacturer should not leave the studs and the ends of them because they beat themselves out of the box. Let's see. Where did I see that? I must have dreamt that. Down on the right corner here, is that a hole? Oh yeah, I see it. It's kind of bent on the bottom. I don't know where those were on it. But anyway, uh, stud, one of the studs was bent, so I fixed it up. I guess going back and forth in the box. So I got that fixed. It was no big deal. The, mir the mirrors are very impressive. And I'm telling you, really impressive. Mm. I don't know if they're too big for it, but they're intended for it. But then again, it's a trailer mirror. You should have a big trailer mirror. What else? And of course, next week we'll be starting our, uh, our shelter. For uh, Forky, yeah, the forklift. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be some uh, some work out there to do with the tractor, and we got to haul in some compactable material, and probably going to have to uh, get a tamper and tamp that down, and you know whatever. Mm -hmm. right? So that's what's going to be coming up next week, folks. Uh, yes. We decided a decision has been made on the emblems. Oh yes. For the wheels. Yep. So as of eight o'clock this morning, while Kathy and I were sitting down having tea, there was how many comments was made? We had ninety-two comments. Ninety-two comments, and we had vir virtually, basically, a dead heat tie. Maybe one in favor of the uh, keeping the dark. Dark blue. The dark blue centers like we have there now. That's right, with the chrome on them. Yeah, with the chrome. Maybe one ahead. So there was 20, 25 for the light blue. Yep. And 26 for the dark. The dark, what we have on there now. So none of you were really help. <laughs> we're still, you know, it's not like the hubcaps. The hubcaps was an overwhelming majority said keep the old hubcaps on it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. so what we have decided to do, 
It was a tough decision, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, well, definitely. I mean, for them, too. Yeah. Well, we decided to leave what's there there, mm -hmm. as it is, and we're going to use the newer uh, emblem in the steering wheel. That's right. So it's the best of both worlds. Nobody wins, nobody loses. No. So that's what, uh, that's what we're going to do. And what else has been pouring rain? It's 14 degrees Celsius here today. Mm. Now, but this morning was enough to oh, freeze you. Oh, it's freezing. Yeah, so we're waiting on Napa now to bring, bring in some parts for us. So we'll get that done. Yeah, so sorry I didn't do a video on the bike. I will eventually do some videos on bikes, but what had happened is you had to go track down the parts, Kathy. I did. So she had to go probably 15 kilometers away to get yeah. parts. Oh, you're just getting back. Yep. So but I just wanted you to see this is what you can do for a replacement muffler for these machines. Again, you don't have to worry about back pressure. This will never create enough back pressure to harm the engine because this is what came off. So, yeah. you know. It's nasty. Yeah. And uh, it's safe and it's quiet. Um, no, there's no spark arrestor, but there's no spark going to get through that big muffler. So, there's no danger of fire there, so. So that's it. Have you got anything you can add to that? Nope, that's you a take. The only thing is, uh, give you something to think about, I've seen on a commercial. This morning we were discussing it. We were, uh, Volkswagen has oh, got yeah. a car out now that will literally break itself. Okay, you better pause that, we have a... A customer coming. We got clearance between the. Anyway, everybody's cleared out. <laughs> yes. Man, there. couriers there ain't coming there, didn't? No, didn't. It, it was like an invasion. It was. So anyway, I was saying, it don't make sense what the manufacturer, vehicle manufacturers, are coming out with. Uh, uh, Volkswagen got this system where it'll automatically break in the case of an emergency. That's right. It it detects. Yeah. Problem if you didn't see it or something, yeah. Now, can you imagine, like, the stuff that we have seen? We have seen people literally going out the highway putting makeup on. Oh, yeah. Now, I can only imagine what would happen to a woman putting mascara on, oh, yeah. and that brake comes on automatically. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she's going to look like a coal miner by the time she gets to work. Huh? Oh, you know, or, or, li or lipstick, but she looked like she was in a head-on collision. So go with all this red lipstick on, she looked like she was she was tore up. That's right. Right? You know, or what about the guys tearing up and down the road with the Tim Hortons coffee? Yeah. You know, Tim Hortons embedded backwards into your forehead with the mug. What about the little doggies in their laps? And the dogs in the lap? But, you know, I'm thinking about the guy with the Tim Hortons, really, because especially if they don't have their mugs, they just got the regular cardboard thing. Mm -hmm. And they're going up the road and the brakes come on and all this spills and gets down on on the seat and stuff that's above just above the seat like crown jewels and stuff i can imagine that be very painful you know <laughs> right graphic. well i mean you know face it you know the boys are going to get an awful scholar <laughs> i mean they got to got to right i mean I mean, how can you have brakes automatically this coming on your the vehicle? This is stuff that you thought about when well, you I mean, heard that. Well, this, this guy was driving this car, bringing his daughter to school. And he was, and he was looking it. at her, and all of a sudden the brakes come on, and everybody went forward, and, and they're bragging about how good this freaking brake system is. Should I kill you? What about the guy who gets aboard don't have a seatbelt? Oh, yeah. He's going he's Well, gonna I'm going to tell you now. Face planet right into that I'm going to tell you. We're going to see some dash cam videos now, buddy, on, on YouTube when all of this gets going. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, you will. They'd be like Garfield stuck to the windshield. <laughs> and anyway, folks, that's it. That's my rant. We'll see you next week with uh, more videos. I got some uh, welding jobs to do and stuff next week, too, with the mobile welder. So maybe we'll take the camera along. And if you're not too busy, you can come along and do your thing with that, whatever you do with that. Okay? <laughs> so, guys, take care. Be good to each other. Uh, happy Mother's Day to yes. all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. And uh, and some dads are mothers too. So happy well, exactly. Mother's Day to them well, too. you know, some dads only for the dads. Their kids yeah. probably wouldn't make it. You know, you and the same absolutely. thing with the mothers. But anyway, both. Yeah. So happy Mother's Day to all the mommies out there, and we'll see you the next time around. Take care. God bless. <laughs>